Hey guys, welcome. Welcome to our social media training slash brainstorm session. And why I'm calling it that is because honestly, I'm not an expert in social media marketing. I I do what I do and it seems to be working, but I'm not an expert. Um, so when you guys, and, and feel free to have your audio on because I really want this to be a brainstorming session so we actually can kind of chat with each other and gain ideas because I also need to learn some ideas from you guys about you know what you want to see or what platforms you use or what apps you use that really have helped you out. So just to kind of go really quickly into this, why do you guys want to do some social media marketing? Like what is it that you guys want to do? Um, well, I'm just working on getting my followers right now. Okay, and how many uh, on Instagram, Facebook? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go more for Instagram. I find Facebook doesn't really get a lot of attention. Even like they'll give you like a boost sometimes. They'll say, "Oh, here's ten dollar credit and whatever." Even using the credit for um, like boosting my posts and stuff, I've never found anything. Okay. About it, I, I don't even think I've gotten any likes to a page from. from okay. Okay, and that's completely fair. I do find Facebook, I haven't quite figured out how to move my Facebook um, business page very well, and I haven't gotten a lot of traction out of it. I've gotten a couple sales here and there, and I've gotten uh, a sign up here and there, but it's nothing as, it's not the ROI or the return on investment that I really, really, uh, I am looking for. Uh, mm -hmm. I do, like, I personally, I do a lot on uh, YouTube, and I do a lot on Instagram, and then just everything that I post on my Instagram, I auto it auto-posts onto my Facebook account. Sorry, it's also allergy season, so my nose is running, so excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love allergies, but it means it's spring. It's finally nice out. I'm so happy. I know, me too. Okay, there we go. Now I can breathe for a second. Okay, so... Tiffany, if you're okay with us doing a lot more focus on Instagram, can you just kind of like... Yeah, I am. There? I don't know if I'm here. Am oh, I? you're here? Oh, you can, yeah, you can hear it. So, uh, Tiffany, what do you want to do with um, with social media? Like, why are you on this call? Um, I definitely want to try and get uh, more attention from any and everybody and referrals from people that I'm already following and they're already following me uh, to build my sales as well as the team. Okay. Build sales and team. Okay, so now in your mind, guys, how much time do you feel like you need for social media marketing on a daily basis? If you, if we're working with Instagram, I feel like we got to be on there all damn day because <laughs> you schedule posts. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. How many times a day do you post, Chels? Um, lately, I've been trying to post at least two or three if I can. Okay. Um, at the same time, it's like. I, I don't want to be overbearing <laughs> and you have to be creative because you don't want to be repetitive in what you're showing people because you'll lose your followers. Yep. yep. But I just, I just feel like Instagram takes a lot of, a lot of work. Okay. All right. So let's figure out a way to make the work less. Okay. Yep. Or at least condense it so you don't feel like you're spending your entire day on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Tiffany, how, um, how much time do you think you need for social media? Uh, for social media, at least one full hour and then maybe, um, go on periodically like five minutes at a time just to update and keep in contact. The mm -hmm. more you, if someone comments and the longer you take to answer or respond or anything, the less they're going to be interested later. So yep. it's kind of you have to be right there when they want you to be. Mm -hmm. No, for sure, for sure. Okay, so let's um let's just put a little bit more focus today on Instagram itself. Does that sound good for you guys? Sure. Okay, so I'm just uh, before I do that, I'm going to touch base really quickly on the different platforms that there are available. And so the, you guys know there's like probably like hundreds of different social media platforms out there. And so some of them include like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, um, blah, 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 LinkedIn, and uh, what are some other ones? Uh, like. I don't know. There's a bunch of other ones. Oh, WeChat, WhatsApp, and stuff like that. So I have reps on the team who use WhatsApp a lot and WeChat a lot. And like, though, um, like WeChat is kind of like a, a, another, I guess it's almost like another form of Facebook. I, I tried to dive into it, didn't really get it. Oh, what's the other one? Snapchat. Snapchat's another big one. But um, I think the most important thing is when you're working on growing a specific audience, you want to work really try to figure out one platform at a time and not spread yourself out too thin. I mean, I'm a little bit guilty of that because I tried to grow. Well, I grew my Facebook first and then from there I moved on to growing um, Instagram for a couple of years and now I'm diving into 
to YouTube. So my Instagram still isn't what I want it to be. I mean, I just surpassed 1,000 followers, which to me is like, yay, awesome. I'm really happy about that. But I know that I can grow it more, and I'm trying to learn strategies and everything else to actually help grow that. So I think it'll be great for us to really focus on that. Um, so I just know for like the different, different types of platforms, they have different algorithms, and they have different ways to make your presence more known. So for example, Facebook, um, well, Instagram, okay, let's, let's go to Instagram. So Instagram, it's all about the hashtags and also interacting with the people who have, uh, commented or liked your post. Okay. Um, on Facebook, Facebook, you have to look at Facebook almost like a business is what I was told. So with Facebook, you want to keep your viewers on Facebook and Facebook also they value videos more so than they actually value pictures. So Facebook Live or the, now the whole stories thing, those are really, really, really great um, tools within Facebook they can use to boost your presence and to boost your your marketing strategy that you have. With Twitter, I still don't understand Twitter. That's I try to <laughs> Twitter. I don't get it. I just know that you're supposed to be on there a lot. And I only go on oh, yeah. just to see what my what my daughter's teacher posts about about the kids during the day, and um, so Twitter I I just don't get. I just Heather is actually someone who's really good. Um, uh, Heather Shell, she's or Heather Donald, sorry, she's actually really good on Twitter. And so if you guys ever have any questions, I'm sure she wouldn't mind if you guys just kind of like say, hey Heather, can you tell me a little bit more about Twitter? Because she's really good on that, but just way better than I am. So now let's move on to Instagram. So Instagram to me, it's all about the hashtags and stories. And if you guys want me to repeat anything, just let me know. Or if I'm talking too fast, also let me know. How's the audio? Can you hear me clearly? It's perfect. If I mute myself, it's just because my son's loud in the background. Oh, okay, no problem. Okay, so with Instagram, we have various tools within Instagram, and I'm um, just going to try to open up my Instagram account. Here we go. So within Instagram, I mean, we have different types of tools on here, right? So we have the stories, we have, oh, that's King. <laughs> we have the stories, and then you can also send like direct messages and things like that. And now there's also an IGTV, which is kind of cool, and I still haven't quite figured out how to use it yet, but I'm, I'm learning. So like I say, I'm not an expert in Instagram or anything. I'm just working on learning. And so that's why we're brainstorming today. Um, there's a couple of tools for Instagram that will help you, I, Chelsea, if you're worried about having to spend the entire day on it. But what it does, it helps you to kind of map out your grid. Because with Instagram, you want to look at Instagram like when they, you want people to visit your profile. Mm -hmm. okay? And when people visit your profile, they see your grid right? And when they see your grid, you want that grid to be like, wow, amazeballs. It looks so good. <laughs> so a couple of tips that I've heard, and I haven't actually put this one into effect because I don't want to, I don't want to delete all my photos because also Instagram to me was actually started more like a personal thing. It just kind of became a more of a marketing thing. Um, it's, what was getting with that? Yeah, you, it's to use your grid so that um, they all have the same type of filter. Mm -hmm. Where's my thing? So you, if you have a consistent filter, it also really, really, really helps. Now, in order to figure out your grid, there's a couple, because right now, most of the time, it's like, even if we're using the Avon Spark app, we can't schedule our posts for our grid right? Uh, we, mm -hmm. we can't schedule our posts for Instagram. We can schedule our posts for our pages and we can schedule our posts for something else. When you're on actual Instagram itself, when you, they open up your profile, you want that to captivate you and basically be the essence of you. What are you talking about? What is your niche or what is the, your target audience? So my target audience and the way I do my Instagram is I want it to be a lot of like lifestyle marketing. So I post a lot about my daughter. I post a lot about food. If I travel, I post about my travel, my dogs. And it's about the life that I have because I can have a home-based business. So that's a style of marketing I do so now I did open up a secondary um, a, a secondary Instagram page which is all about marketing I haven't done a lot with that one yet just because I haven't figured out what I really want to do with it but um, 
with the lifestyle marketing, I use specific hashtags all the time. So one would be the Dancing Avon Lady, and the other one will be like Avon, Avon Canada, and then the new one I'm using right now is Avon Lifestyle, and then also Work From Home, and um, like multi-level marketing and direct sales, right? A Lady Boss, Beauty Boss, like basically the trending ones. When you're looking at the hashtags itself, when you click on when you're about to post something and you want to choose which hashtag you're going to use, you want to find something that doesn't have like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people using it. So like if you use a hashtag that has, let's say 20 million hashtags, your hashtag is going, your photo with that hashtag is going to be lost in the feed like that really, really quickly. Because with the hashtags, you want to find something that is, uh, searchable right but not something that is so used that your your post will never be on the top of the feed does that make sense yep yep, yep. okay good so now when ways to make <clears throat> life easier with figuring out what um, like what to post when to post or finding pl uh, like uh, apps, like specific third-party apps that you can use to make your life easier. So there's one that's called Planoly, and so this one for when you start off, it can be free, and they don't charge you anything unless you want to up your plan. So what this is, it lets you plan out your grid for the next 30 posts for free. If you want to do more than 30 posts, then you you'll have like. 30 posts at a time, then you mm -hmm. do have to pay for it. But I looked at the pricing list here and I just learned about this one yesterday. So I was like, I, I'm thinking about probably signing up for this one to see how it works. But the cool thing about it is that, okay, so you can have one Instagram account. So if you have a personal one and a business one, you can only choose one or the other. Um, you can have one viewer, but your grid uploads is 30 a month. Okay. So that's to specifically choose out your layout for that, for, for that within that month of 30 posts. But the thing is, you can probably still post on the fly throughout the day, but at least this way you can post up your campaign at a time. So if you look at, um, you guys create a content calendar. How do I do that? A content calendar. Okay. That's a whole nother trading. Okay. So if you look at content calendar. Okay. You can, you basically, it's like an empty calendar that you can hmm? use. You can use Google Maps or whatever, okay? But it could be something like this, and you pick out, let's say, a holiday. So, for example, we just had Easter that went by, okay? So you go, um, let's say it was, when was Easter? Easter was Sunday, right? So prior to Easter, we would be talking about maybe things like Easter-friendly gifts, or it doesn't even have to be specifically, a, like, anything 100% Avon related. It can yeah. just be something to do alongside that refers back to your business. And that's something that I really, really tr strive to do is that I don't make everything buy this from me, buy this from me, buy this from me because I'm being yeah. this, right. You, and that's when you feel like, Oh, am I being overbearing with, with, well, them? exactly. Right. I think so, my problem too, cause I'm trying to run two social media accounts. So it's like, I, I really swamped. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. like one for my other business and then one for this. So, okay. And that makes it completely sad. So use what you, I'm kind of telling you today to kind of help figure out the content for both. So, Cause once you have a content calendar going, what mm -hmm. happens is the stress of what to post at least is gone. Yeah. Right. Cause a lot of it, it's like, it could be like, Three o'clock in the afternoon, I still don't have a post up yet because I don't know what to post that day. I have no clue. Yeah, exactly. I'm exhausted. My daughter's home. She's like, mommy, 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 which is fine, but I just <laughs> don't have creative juices going. So if yeah. I take, let's say, one day out of the entire campaign, like yesterday, that's what I did. I planned out the rest of campaign 10 yesterday at my mom's house while she was making me lunch. <laughs> and I just sat there and I just figured out all of my posts for my business, Facebook business page for the rest of the month. So I don't have to touch, sorry, for the rest of the campaign. So I don't have to touch it anymore. Of course, I still make room for going into like, if I have something like, you know, like, um, like if I do a make a post that I'll post it up directly on there or something like that. Yeah. But at least, you know, that you have a minimum of one post every day already for that account. 
Mm -hmm. right? Because a huge part of growing your social media is staying consistent and staying consistent can be whatever that means to you. It could mean posting three times a week. It could be posting five times a week. It could post to be posting daily. I found that I had the biggest growth when I posted between two to three times every single day. That's when I do a lot more. Like I would get maybe 15 to 20 new followers every day. Um, well, on the weekend, I got over 200, and this was like I got over 200 in one day. Oh, my God. And I know, but as soon as I stopped, yeah, my followers went down yeah. by probably 100. Yeah. So I, I hit the 500 I was hoping for, but then as soon as I stopped consistently posting like I was that day, mm -hmm. and then I logged back in, and then it was like down by 100. Well, you also have to understand, like, a lot – a lot of the followers that we get sometimes are not organic followers. Exactly. Right. You, a lot of the followers sometimes we get, they can be just, they can be bots. Yeah. Right? They could be people who are just looking follower for follower. And yeah. every follower I get, I usually go onto their page, take a look at their content to see if it's something that I would actually be interested in or if it kind of gels along with my brand, then I'll follow them. Um, yeah, but every same. follower I get, pardon me? Say I do the same thing. I usually go and see if they're just a spam account or. You know, yeah, exactly. 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 Um, so yeah, like I mean, don't get disheartened about people unfollowing you. It might not even be anything that you posted up. It could just literally just be it was a bot. And there's people who mm -hmm. buy followers, right? So they're not true followers. Yeah. Like not saying that you buy followers, but they buy followers by um, getting people like having their account follow other people with the hopes of getting follower for follower. Exactly. Yes. So don't never feel discouraged about that. It took me a long time. Like when I, when I lost my first subscriber on face on, on YouTube, I was like, why did I lose a subscriber? Why? 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 <laughs> and also was like, babe, you just got to relax. It was one fake. I'm like, Oh, okay. <laughs> and that was fine. Okay. Um, now, okay. The other ways to gain more followers on, on Instagram, in addition to using like consistent posting, so there's another one too. This one's called Later. It's a little bit more expensive if you do want to go and um, do, uh, buy the plan and stuff, but they still have a free account as well. Um, yeah, and so you guys can just kind of go through, see what they offer and the perks that they offer, and decide from there whether or not it's for you and which one it is for you. Okay. Um, What's that so one called, Jess? Pardon? No, I was checking the name. Fortune? Erica? No, no, no. No, no, no. I was just checking what's the name of that one. Oh, there's the first one I talked about. It's called Planoly. Mm -hmm. I just learned about this one yesterday. So I think I'm going to actually sign up for this one to see how it goes. Um, and then the next one that I have is that I found was called Later. So they seem really, really similar. Apparently this one's a little bit more popular, but I don't know why because I haven't had a lot of time to dive into these. Uh, but they do kind of go through what, um, what kind of, a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? What, the, what, like, what the, the, the package. Thank you. The back. <laughs> this is what I YouTube. I edit everything. <laughs> so the, the package that they offer. So one is Planoly. The other one is called Later. Okay. What I do okay. like about uh, Later is that they have a blog about how to grow your Instagram and stuff. Now, the other thing I want you guys to pay attention to is also when is the best time to post. Okay. Now, this is not 100% and this doesn't mean that this is what you should do and follow this 100% because this is... Basically, I think that this one here that I'm showing you, it's more about like for the general public, this is the best time to post to get the most engagements. So Mondays is a certain time, Tuesdays is a certain time, blah, 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 right? So take in mind, it also depends on who your target audience is. So mm -hmm. yeah, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know what the colors mean. I haven't had time to go through all of that yet, but I just thought it was kind of interesting that every single day it's pretty different except for around the set, uh, like 9 a.m. mark. It seems to be a little bit more consistent, like between 9 to 10, 11 ish seems mm -hmm. to be a fairly consistent timing. Notice on the weekend, on Saturdays, also later because people tend to go out on, on Friday nights. Exactly. So even on my business page, when I schedule in my 
my business posts for Avon from Spark, I take this into consideration because if they're not checking Instagram at that time, I highly doubt they're checking Facebook at that time too. So I feel like they kind of go hand in hand. It might not be exactly the same, but it will be a similar time frame. There is another app that I found out about yesterday. It's called When to Post, and that will tell you, I guess probably depending a little bit on the package that you get, um, exactly for your viewers, what time is the best time to the minute to increase your engagement and to also increase your followers for your type of audience, okay? So they'll take a look at all of your analytics and then they'll combine it all together and tell you pretty much exactly what time you should post. It's called when to post. I'm going to download it and see if there's any free packages and there are, I'll also post up on the team page, okay? Um, another great thing on Instagram is, do you guys use Instagram stories or uh, the live? Yes, I yes. do. Awesome, awesome, mm -hmm. awesome. So whenever you have like a new post, you can also please just automatically post it onto Instagram stories. And the other thing that I've been doing is in addition to posting on Instagram stories, I also post it onto my highlights. So I'll go, let's say if I'm on my page here and um, I'm doing this one, okay? If you click that little arrow button right there, mm -hmm. You can share it to specifically anybody, but you can also post it to your stories. And from after you post it onto your stories, if you click on your actual story itself, why is my thing not going? But you can click onto your actual story itself and then add it to your highlights here. Okay. okay? And then what I do is I also categorize my highlights so people in, in a very quick, quick, quick following, they can see what my, my page is about, like the highlights of, oh, my dance life. Like that's my newest one because today I did a post about my dance, um, like my dancers. And then my YouTube videos, motivation, like I do motivational quotes every now and then, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that people can just kind of really quickly just see, oh, this is what interests them. If they have, uh, have enough content about interest them, hopefully that way I'll also get followers. Uh, and I did notice that after I started doing that, my followers did like my follower count actually did start increasing a lot more. So yay! One more thing I wanted to talk about real quick, and then I will go into any questions that you guys have. Is when people comment on your content, okay? If they leave a comment. What you want to do is you want to always comment back for conversation. So ask them a question or even be the first commenter on your actual post itself and ask people questions like, oh, what are some of your favorite scents in the spring? Do you lean more towards the fruity scents or the floral cherry blossom scents? Stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or um, have both of the spirit up and say, oh, which one would you rather try? Vanilla or chocolate? You know, because it's like my place, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. So comment for conversation to get people engaged because sometimes people might just do a like or a thumbs up um, or a heart, but they don't really say much or they'll do like an emoticon. So, and when we get those comments, we just kind of grow past them real quick, right? So that's kind of like the same idea when we comment back for people. We want to get them engaged in more of a conversation because the more engagement that you get, you're going to get your post higher up on other people's feeds for Instagram. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is minimum, have a minimum of four words in every comment, four meaningful words. Um, so that it, again, it just creates a little bit more of a conversation. All right. Okay. That's it. That's all like my spiel on Instagram for today. Any questions? Okay. Cause I have like three minutes left. Okay. How come in the spark app, how come it doesn't let you link to your, Facebook business page. How come it links to your personal page? It does. You just have to get the right app. So the app that you want to get is called Pages Manager. So if I open up my Spark app, can you see? Wait. Okay. Oh, I have Pages Manager. Yeah. Link your Pages Manager to your business post, and then you'll be able to link no problem. Okay. <laughs> That's an excellent question. I, okay. Because I could have sworn I did that, and it's still linking to my personal page so when you go to post yeah right, so let's say if I wanted to post this are you're going all the way to the bottom to other apps right yeah okay so you go into the other apps come on and then you're going to the pages manager like that one see that doesn't show up on my list what um, what phone do you have iPhone 
iPhone 7. IPhone. Okay, the iPhone's a little trickier. I have another representative that has an iPhone, and it doesn't recognize on her Spark either. So okay. I think it's an actual iPhone thing, and you might need to call for support because I'm not that techie. I'm not. I'm not extremely techie. Okay, but it's something that, you can look into. Annoying. Send me a private message. Send me a private message, and then let's try to look into that. Okay. All right. Don't worry. We'll figure it out. <laughs> yes. It's not that okay. big a deal. It's just annoying. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Because when you can do the pages manager, then you can do the scheduled posts. Exactly. Because that's why I do every, like, I, that's why I strive to do every single campaign. I don't know how else you can do the actual scheduled post that way for the business page, because I know it does link directly to your actual page itself. Well, I can do just save the image from Spark. Yes. And then I can just schedule the post in my regular pages manager. It's just a lot easier if you can open it and then share from there like I can on Instagram or whatever. I don't, so I don't know. Why yeah, no, it is, I completely agree. It would be a lot easier that way. Uh, and in the meantime, until we figure it out, you might still have to do that. Just make yeah. sure that every post that you do that's strictly, that, that is really businessy, make sure you do have the, your, e-store link on it guys because like once I started doing my e-store link I got two oh shoot I have to do that so I got two new customer leads and also I think I got like two new rep leads too oh cool yeah, yeah. I put my e-store everywhere that's good that's I awesome. have an iPhone too and I just tried to do it with page manager and it didn't work as well yeah so I think it's I think it's an iPhone thing sorry guys I love my Android <laughs> uh, so does my husband <laughs> I love my Android I have one more tip okay my last tip, and then we can talk a little bit more. Um, my last tip is do not, and I was really guilty of this, do not be afraid of going to like pages, non-Avon like pages, so other direct sales companies or other makeup companies. Oh, absolutely. What they post to kind of not take their idea, but to get inspiration from their ideas. Yeah, totally. I do that all the time. <laughs> awesome. Great. Because, like, I mean, we're not marketer. Like, we're not, like, 100% um, marketing gurus that know about exactly. all the trends and stuff. The only yeah. reason why I post up trend stuff is because I just look at other companies and say, oh, this thing is trending. I believe that. Okay, I'm going to say it's trending, too. <laughs> exactly. And that's perfectly fine. Um, so look at other companies for inspiration. Like there was one that Sephora did the other day was like, tell us your lip story. And I yeah. loved that. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And <laughs> hashtag lip story, right? And uh, you can create a whole campaign on that, right? So engage with other communities and also go to other communities that have the type of, of audience members that you're looking for. So Chelsea, I know that you're big on skincare. So you should look, my personal recommendation is look at other skincare uh, like groups or like mm -hmm. skincare uh, pages and mm -hmm. then read through the commenters. And if they have something that you can comment on, like their post and give a comment because then they will not possibly go over to your page. And if yeah. you have good skincare elements onto your page too, then they're going to follow you. Good idea. Also, I like to go on those. That's a good idea to do that. And I also like to go and look at those companies' posts and see what they're hashtagging. And, you know, because sometimes you can't think on the spot like, it doesn't matter if you do it all the time. Sometimes you miss a hashtag that could be really important. So I like to look at like the makeup ones and the skincare ones and see what they're doing. That's awesome. I think that was a great idea. Really great idea. Really great idea. Did you guys like this video? Uh, did you like this today? Yes, it was good. Awesome. Okay. So um, I want you guys to do me a favor. When I post this up, either on our team page or on YouTube, um, make sure you guys comment. Please comment for me because it helps me grow my channel too. I want you guys to take a moment and go onto our team page and just say what was your takeaway from this meeting today. Okay? Okay. Awesome. All right. Love you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your lunch hour to join me. I have another meeting in 10 minutes, so I actually have to go. But, um, okay. Thanks, Jessica. Take care. Thank Bye. you. Bye, guys. Bye. See you in the next Bye. one.